Now we've already tried a bunch of minimal launchers before, like block ratio and recently my favorite, the O launcher. But one of you recently brought an application to my attention named as Minimalist Phone. It's actually a launcher very similar to O launcher. They do the same thing. They minimize distractions with the help of a minimal home screen and reduce your screen time in the process. Just like the block ratio, you'll have to enable the usage access so that it can track your app usage. And that's it. You'll be greeted with a plain blank home screen with nothing but a clock and one default app. You can click on that hyperlink that says see how your home screen works to get a basic intro of the gestures. It's fairly simple. That circle around the clock represents your battery. You can swipe up to bring a browser of your choice to quickly search something. You can swipe to the right to access the app drawer which has a slightly more smoother animation in my experience. From here you can either launch the apps directly or you can add them to your home screen as favorites. You can modify the look a little bit by changing the color themes from the given presets. There is an option to create custom themes too, but it requires a subscription. Yeah, you'll kind of need the premium version to unlock a lot of features. We'll get to that in a second. But thankfully the basics are all here in the free version. You can hide apps and you can show them again by going into settings. There are two shortcuts on the bottom left and right for the phone dialer and the built-in camera, which you can just toggle on or off. You can't customize them to be something else. And that's fine, I guess. I mean, those are the two apps that people most commonly use nowadays. I noticed that they haven't used all of the gestures available like swiping from the left, it does nothing. I wish that swiping from the left would be a shortcut because you can't add more than two favorite apps on the home screen. You'll have to purchase the pro version for that. Yeah, I know, two apps limit for the free version is just too little for most people. I wish they had set some kind of a reasonable limit like maybe four or five, but I guess they really want you to consider that paid upgrade. As mentioned earlier, the full version brings you customized color themes, unlimited number of favorite apps, unlimited renamed apps, and unlimited hidden apps. You can either opt in for a monthly or an annual subscription, or you can pay for the one-time purchase. Considering the quality of this app, it's very affordable. So if you think that this is the right fit for you, this will be a great investment. Personally though, for me, O-Launcher does all of these things and I'm perfectly happy with it. And it even has that daily wallpaper switcher that I really like. You know, it's always the little things that end up making the big difference. You know, small things like when you're searching for an app, if there's only one result, automatically launch it without me having to click on it. I'm obviously gonna select that, so what's the point of making me do it separately? O-Launcher does that automatically. I did notice one cool unique feature in this launcher though, and it's called monochrome mode. Once enabled, you can selectively make certain apps black and white. It may help you reduce distractions in social media apps and help you focus on what you are about to do. Like, you know, maybe you went to DM a friend but then immediately got distracted by your colorful timeline. You can set a universal monochrome profile from the developer options, which is what I'm doing right now. If you set simulate color space as monochrome, it will turn your entire phone's UI into black and white. To do this from a launcher on an app by app basis, it seems like it needs root access, but you don't have to root your entire Android phone. There's an option where you can send that instruction to yourself through an email, which will take you to a site that'll download a PDF. Oh man. The PDF contains detailed illustrated steps where you can enable developer options and enable USB debugging in case you haven't done it already. And once you have enabled it, you can just connect your phone to your PC and download that zip file. Once you extract it, you'll see a bat file named activate monochrome. Just click on it and you'll just get a prompt, which kind of looks like this, and you can press any key to exit. To see if it worked, just go back to your phone to that monochrome option page. You'll now see a toggle option there. And that's it. You can enable it and select it for any app that you want to open in monochrome mode. And yeah, it works as advertised. It takes a second for the monochrome mode to kick in, but it does work. But overall, I kind of like this launcher. It's pretty much exactly like O-Launcher but with this monochrome mode as an additional option. It also has a built-in app monitor that tracks your app usage and reports to you. Kind of similar to that usage indicator we had in block ratio. So they've taken some useful concepts from popular launchers and they've made a very minimal package out of it. And if you liked all these features, then I think a pro version upgrade is worth it. It is early access at this point, meaning that it is still being developed, but still the link is up on the Play Store where anyone can download. I think that's pretty cool of them to give access to anyone. So yeah, go ahead and check out Minimalist Phone. Let me know what you think.